Just a quick update. We're uh, getting this thing torn apart pretty good. Uh, still got a few things I want to do before I really get back to putting it back together. But anyway, uh, we're going to remove the transom on this thing. Now, there's a couple ways you can remove these transoms. You can uh, drill the bolts out in the back, which that's what I'm going to do because it's just so much easier to just drill them out because I'm going to replace them anyway with new hardware. So that's the easiest way to go. I'll show you how to drill those out. It ain't that big a deal. Uh, the way this boat's made, you got these two sections on both sides that's bolted to the floor. You can get this out without taking these out. It's just like a lot of work. There's a little panel here, and it goes this way, this way, this way, and they've got it filled with styrofoam on both sides. You'll see in the video of me taking it out, uh, but I've already got them removed. I'm gonna drill the bolts out in the back. Right up underneath here, we have bolts. There's, there's two or three here, two or three in the very back. Same thing on this side. Once you get the styrofoam out of the way, where you can get up underneath here, they're real easy to get out. It's a real simple process. It just takes a lot of time to get to them for the most part. But I highly suggest if you're going to remove one of these transoms to put a new transom in it, go ahead and pull the splash wheel out. It makes it a whole lot easier. You can get to all your bolts. You can get to everything and all the hardware inside it where you can get that wood. In the long run, by taking this apart, you save time putting the transom back in and it just makes it 10 times easier. Yeah, it's going to add about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to the job, but when the job's done, man, it'll be a perfect job instead of you trying to piece it in here. Because if you try to feed this in without pulling this, it's a royal nightmare. So let's go ahead and get this out. So you can see them right here. These are the ones that hold the transom, the skin in. Once I get the skin out of the way, then I can take all the rest of these out if I want to try to save them. But I'm not. I'm just going to drill them out too. But again, just start it right in the center of it. Don't go too fast because you don't want to overheat the drill bit. Done. There we go. Now, I can go right in there and pop that transom plate right out. Makes it a whole lot easier. Took me three minutes to get these out. I was gonna buy new ones anyway. Now, I can pop this right out. Okay, we got all the bolts out. I've only left two in. I left this one, and I left the one on this side. They're loose, but I got them where I can really pop them out really easy now. Everything else is loose. I took the three out that were going from the actual thing into the actual transom. I've got all those out, so essentially all we should have to do is take these two out and then cut the caulking loose, and this thing should pop right out.
actually mount it to the top. That way the top of the boat's nice and smooth and flush all the way around. This will be flush instead of four inches down. That'll give me four more inches of splash well. That way water won't come over the back as bad. And it also give me extra storage underneath the back here. It's gonna be a real nice boat. Let me get this out of the way. All right, now you can see why we've done that. I can access all these bolts, all the hardware. I can take this thing out and it won't take me no time at all to take this out. And if I was gonna put it back right away, it'd be so simple to put it back, it's no problem. Now look, it took me an extra hour to take all this stuff out of the way. But by taking all this stuff out of the way, look how much simpler the job is from there. I highly recommend that. And the other thing, while I got this open, I'm gonna take these pumps out and change them. Go ahead and take out the bilge pump, change it. I mean, it makes no sense. If you're gonna replace this and you've already went through all this work, what's another $40 for two new pumps? If this is rotted, hey, go ahead and replace those pumps. Go ahead and replace all your hoses and everything while you're in there. Thank you for watching as always, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. All right, that should be better.